Hey guys, so today concluded two of the big three gaming companies. Uh, Microsoft did go off in the morning and followed by PlayStation uh, around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for the most part, it was everything that we thought it was going to be. Uh, Sony did play it safe. They didn't have too many surprises. So everything just kind of went as expected. Um, the president um, just kind of apologized for the PSN and it going down and um, just just mentioning that they appreciate having the PlayStation brand loyalty and people who are loyal to the PlayStation brand, things like that. So uh, just trying to smooth things over a little bit. Uh, a couple things that I did here um, was there is a new Madden coming out. As always, it's kind of like a, a every year we got new Madden, FIFA, another Madden. So EA is uh, definitely always bringing out a different type of sports iteration every year. Um, Resistance 3 is coming out. We know that uh, they had kind of a, a gameplay demo. Graphics are pretty good. I would say uh, graphics uh, are, are on par with Gears of War 3. So nothing that's going to blow anything out of the water on the graphical side. Uh, they had two collections that are coming out. God of War Classics or God of War Origins. It's just bringing the two God of War titles that were on the PSP onto the uh, PlayStation uh, network. And they'll all be in full 3D. Uh, also they're going to have, which is no surprise, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus and HD High Def Remix. So that was definitely something that we already heard they were going to do. Uh, some other things that we saw were uh, more integrations with the uh, Sony Move. So I know a lot of the push was for Move to kind of take itself off the ground. Uh, we saw a lot of um, apps that were using it. Uh, looks like Little Big Planet 2, which is a title that's currently out. So they're going back to their backlog and adding some Move functionality. Um, Sly Cooper's making its return. One of the things that was kind of cool was a game called Dust, which actually incorporates. Um, both the PlayStation 3 as, and a, a PC, so there's going to be um, some congruency between a PlayStation 3 and a PC platform. So it's called Dust, and they're all going to be sharing the same master server. Uh, we saw Bioshock uh, Infinity, and as always, the, the game definitely has a, a specific type of style. Uh, the immersion looks like it's there, the environments and the graphics, so I think that game is going to be amazing when it finally comes out. Uh, we had a, a, a little bit of SSX tricky, some of the uh, uh, demo clips on there showed up. Star Wars, Star Trek. Uh, the, one of the cool titles that came out for um, for PlayStation, which was Sports Champions, um, there's also another one that's kind of by the same developer. They're making a medieval dead men's quest. So it really did take advantage of Sony's move capabilities as far as uh, gestures. So if you're going to shoot a bow and arrow, you're going to reach behind your back, or if you're going to use your sword, you're going to use a sword swipe. So uh, the PlayStation is definitely pushing more things in 3D, and, and that's what they do, TVs and technology, and the PlayStation's kind of there as a, a console that's going to help them bridge that gap. Uh, we saw um, the one thing that we did see, which is kind of interesting, um, I knew it was coming out, but a successor to the, play, the PlayStation Portable. Um, interesting name, it's called the PlayStation or PS Vita. Uh, PS Vita meaning kind of element of life. So that was kind of interesting. Um, a lot of cool uh, technologies in there. We got two cameras, uh, different type of gyros, gyro motion sensations, touch screens. Um, the back has got touch screen on the back and the front. Um, one of the cool things is um, it is going to have a 3G and a Wi Fi mode. Um, I think that. The, the, the price was going to be kind of out there when I first saw it. They didn't talk about price till the end of the conference, but it's actually well, really well priced. So that was the thing that shocked me. I thought a device like that was going to be around the $600 or $500 mark. But surprisingly, um, they have a Wi-Fi only model for $249 and the 3G version is only $299. So that's a, for me, for what you're getting, uh, that's definitely on par with the iPod Touch. and so. Uh, it's, and the thing is, now you actually have a real tactile controller. So I think the PlayStation Vita does have a chance at becoming a successor. We didn't get all the details yet, but um, I think PlayStation successor to PS, uh, P is definitely going to be something that's going to shake some grounds. So uh, PlayStation, for the most part, I think they did a great job. Uh, I think um, 
There are more things to come um, as E3 unveils itself, but uh, I definitely think that PlayStation did make a strong um, move today as far as the things that they have, and I'd put them on par with the X Xbox or the Microsoft conference today. So uh, stay tuned and tomorrow marks Nintendo's unveiling of the things that they're going to do. Uh, one of the things we, uh, we know we're going to hear is uh, Project Cafe and what they're going to do with the controller that probably has a touch screen on it. So uh, if anything, thanks for watching GameFlix here. Make sure you follow us on our Twitter account. Uh, we're doing constant updates on our GameFlixer.com website. So uh, if, if you uh, have any suggestions, please let us know. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Do you want to start the game again?